Every organisation employs multiple people to fulfil different roles. Each employee will have user accounts and those user accounts will have permissions to corporate data. Those user accounts and permissions form that employee's digital identity. The greater the size of that digital identity, the greater the risk exposure to the company. Identity and access management tools and identity governance and administration tools will help automate the process around managing those identities, thus reducing the risk to the organisation. An identity management solution will reduce risk to your business by ensuring that the right people have the right levels of access to the right data. It will also make your business more efficient by automating all of the processes around managing identities. Identity and access management tools deal with the lifecycle management process, which is the join and move and leave process. So when a person joins a company, the system will automatically create the user accounts and assign the right permissions. If that person moves to a different role within the company, the system will automatically remove the permissions they no longer need and assign the ones that they need for their new role. And then the lever process. If that person leaves the company or is terminated for whatever reason, then the system will automatically disable those accounts so that that user no longer can access any of the applications or data. IAM tools will also do password management. It's a self service portal where a user can log in and reset his password for any account that he has access to. IAM tools will also do access requests. So if a user requires access to an application that he hasn't automatically been given, he can make a manual request. That manual request can be given to a line manager or an application owner to approve. And once approved, the system will automatically provision that access for the user who requested it. IGA stands for Identity Governance and Administration. Identity Governance adds another layer to the Identity and Access Management toolset. It's all about separation of duty, making sure that you don't have toxic combinations of responsibilities within your organisation, and it allows you to certify access. Does the right person have the right level of access to the right data set, and can I prove it? That's the biggest difference between an IGA product and an IAM product, is being able to prove that level of access. DHG stands for Data Access Governance. Data Access Governance is basically Identity Governance and Administration, but for unstructured data. What is unstructured data? Unstructured data is classed as any data where the format is defined by the user. So for example, your file server, or SharePoint, or even email is considered unstructured data. Data Access Governance is all about defining who has access to your sensitive data, what level of access do they have, what are they doing with that access? Is that access correct? And can I prove it? That's it. Ooh. <laughs>